person who advocates and practices preparedness. One ready for any event that would disrupt their daily routine. That is a prepper. Hello everyone out there in internet radio land. This is Dave Jones, the NBC guy. <laughs> and I wonder if the AI could duplicate that. Probably. Probably. But uh, I don't think they'll be able to duplicate my... Uh, loss of uh, train of thought or getting off the subject <laughs> that I do. So if if they ever uh, try and d- a deep fake, you'll know it's me because I I get messed up a lot. <laughs> this is just you know what uh, Ben the breaker of banksters was talking about on Tuesday night. The deep fake and the AI and all that kind of stuff. Um, Hey, did you hear the intrepid commander last night? Uh, I think that was when he came down and uh, we we butchered up a pig. Uh Uh-oh. The power just went off. Dang it. (laughs) Oh, no. It's been raining for the past two days. And uh, the ground is very, very full of water. So trees sometimes fall over when when the roots are soaked. So I got to let you go here, PBN family. It'll only be a second to you, but I got to go out and hook up the generator. Well, I got to practice my emergency uh, electric hookup procedures and everything went well. Uh, I'd like to kind of explain on this daily audio cache how we do the power here. Uh, A transfer case is what most people have with a generator. And uh, what that does is it allows you to select certain circuits in your house to have power when the generator kicks on. Now, a transfer case itself is around six, seven hundred dollars. <clears throat> and then it's an additional six or seven hundred dollars to get it hooked into your electrical box. And you also have to have a generator that will turn on when the power goes off. It detects the power going off and it turns itself on. There's usually a delay in that turn on, uh, you know, for for brownouts or fluctuations in power. You don't want your generator turning off and on. Usually like 30 seconds to, that's the uh, backup batteries for the, the, it's some reason it doesn't cycle right and they just keep turning off and on. That's why they're beeping. Anyway, I decided not to go that route for a couple different reasons. Um, I don't want my generator turning on, you know, when I'm not home. I want to be able to turn it on. We're home most of the time anyways. So I I have a generator, and the way I used to do it, I had a long uh, cable that I made up at uh, Home Depot, a heavy-duty cable that hooked into the 240 uh, or, or 220, 220 side of the generator with uh, a dryer plug on it. And what I do is pull off the dryer vent and I'd throw the cable in that hole and I'd unplug my dryer, I'd plug it into the dryer uh, plug and then I'd turn the generator on and then plug it in that way. So uh, that's the way I used to do it. And then I had an extra space in my box with a uh, 40 amp breaker and I had an electrician put a a box on the outside of the house because there there was a a second dryer hookup and it was in uh, upstairs so we used that wiring to hook this box up and I have a uh, one of those breakers that you remove you know you pull it out and turn it upside down and it says off and you can stick it back in in the off position so I have that 
As you can tell, the intercom is still working. <laughs> I'm being summoned, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the power back on, and uh, I started working on the swimming pool, and the pump doesn't work. So now I need a new pump. This swimming pool idea is... So I got the swimming pool last year for 156 bucks. It was the end of the season. They were clearing them out half price. And I thought, if the kids don't swim in it, we're going to raise some tilapia. <laughs> well, I just spent 375 bucks getting it filled up. So it's already being a money suck to me. Man, I'm looking at hatcheries right now. Ah. <laughs> uh, Okay, PBN family, I'm going to post this because uh, it is Double Barrel Thursday. Double Barrel Thursday. Tool Man Tim. Man, he had a great show last week. Great show. Uh, was Dane Dion? I can't remember. I think he was. I think we had Double Barrel Thursday, but I can't remember what he talked about. Anyway, PBN family, stay tuned. More drama about the pool to follow. <laughs> Prep on. 